And the last step, whatever my sheet went to, said outline shapes with black pens. Are you already on the last step? Yeah. Well, you're going to have to wait. Because I need something right here. I don't know what. Um, I don't know what. I want to find these trees. These weird trees. So now you're outlining with uh, with um black. Is that what you're saying? The next one. That's the last step. Yeah. Just 
making a little bit of texture here. And a little bit of brown texture. It's one of those weird trees. Are you on the last step now? I mean, not sure what I'm going to outline. I don't know. You made the step. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going with the flow here. All right. Yeah, so it's pretty funny on. how I uh, go off script, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just getting a pen. This pen doesn't like this. Yeah, most of them don't when it's wet. No. Yeah, I'm gonna have to change out. This is too, too wet. So I think I'll use this. Since this is the top layer, I'm going to use this uh, R2. Because it won't matter. These are cheap dollar store pens. They really do write over everything. It's just that they're water soluble, so you have to be careful about what layer you're using them in. So, since this is the last layer on this particular project, I figured I was safe in using it. Yep, I think so. It's a nice black ink. I, I enjoy the the line it creates. I like your design. I get it. I don't think this was exactly what I was going for when I went for it. <laughs> oh, well. You know, you, we always start out with other ideas, and the art kind of takes us where it wants to take us sometimes. Yeah, this one definitely did. I'm pretty sure I had an idea when I started and then I just kind of let it do what it wanted to do. And I can tell you unequivocally, I can't even say the word, unequivocally, I had no idea where I was headed. So whatever I turn out, I'm happy with it because I had no clue. <laughs> Fly by the seat of my pants. Yeah. I 
feel like I need some words. That's not on the steps, but. Well, you can always add things. It doesn't have to be part of the steps to be on your page. That's the good thing about art journaling. You can do whatever you want to do. I just stuck my arm in black paint. So can you print with it? <laughs> now that it's in black paint? Yep, I guess I'm uh, doing primitive, primitive printing with my arm. Yeah. Onto my underpaper. Yeah, I, I was drying my underpaper because I had a lot of wet stuff on there. Those crayons, oh my gosh, they make one heck of a mess. For sure. But I like them. You know, when, when I'm feeling messy, when I feel like I want messy, I don't mind using that kind of stuff. I think I always like did I get it all? Did I outline it all? Oh, look at there. I did. Oh, I'm so proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Now I need to do some on these two. There. That gives me some, uh, some balance down at the bottom because it was kind of it was off balance. It was like your eye was going like this, and then there wasn't anything over here yeah. to make your eye stop. So I think that helps. Yeah. And I think this is a good word for this because we all need to learn about other people's cultures and respect other people's cultures. Absolutely. Well, you, it's interesting. It's interesting to learn about other people's cultures. I enjoy it. Yep, me too. So, and I we've think already that's covered it. three this month, right? Yeah, we got one more yet. <laughs> yeah. Within the umbrella of primitive art, which does kind of lend itself to exploring different cultures for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks pretty good. And it definitely um, gives that that vibe of, of, you know, the savanna, African savanna. And it yeah. has the mud cloth. Well, I, I, like, like I like that you've got the African continent there. Yeah. And then you still see the mud cloth through it. I think that's genius. Hmm. Mine is just... Uh, more southwestern. It's got the snake imagery and the, yeah. Nothing to write home about. I'm down with it. It's southwestern. I like it. Anyway, that was week three. Yep. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we will see you again soon with week four. Yes, we will. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.